Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Gamal. And thank you all for being here. Um, and thank you for holding up at this time of the afternoon. Um, you know, I, uh, personally, I, at this time of the day, according to my watch, I'm taking my shower. So I think that many of you uh, must be a little tired. So following my Latin American tradition, let me kindly ask you a favor so we can uh, bear with my presentation better. Please stand up. Please. <laughs> you are. Good. That's great. If you want to hold up your, your hands, your arms, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shall we continue till the rest of 10 minutes? OK. <laughs> <laughs> I come from Ecuador, a rather small country in the coast of the Pacific Ocean in South America. You can see it there in uh, blue, green uh, color. It's a 15 million people country. Our uh, maternal mortality ratio is uh, around 80. Newborn uh, mortality is around 10 or 11. Our uh, skilled birth attendance rate is around 70%. So those are the basic uh, elements for this scenario. And I'm going to uh, tell you in the next 10 minutes briefly the story of uh, how a quality improvement effort nationwide contributed decisively to the integration of maternal and newborn care. I don't have it. Thank you. So up until 2009, the situation in Ecuador, my country, was not very different I understand from what we see in many other Latin American countries, maybe in other continents as well, in terms of the separation of maternal care and child care, not to mention newborn care, because it was mostly invisible at that time. So maternal, excuse me, it's, it's the previous one. So here it is. So maternal and child care were managed from separate offices in the Ministry of Health. The heads of these programs did not talk to each other. Actually, they didn't like each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Norms were developed for each one of these programs, and they were updated from time to time by the Ministry of Health, but separately. The maternal health people hold their meetings, and they updated their norms and published their norms. And the child care newborn people also did the same in different hotels at different moments with different donors, too. <laughs> and then an initiative for quality of maternal care was started around 2004. We came to support the Ministry of Health on that, to improve the quality of maternal care, but not for child care or newborn care. It was a strictly maternal, more than maternal, obstetrical care. And at the delivery of services at facilities, there was no coordination between obstetric and pediatric care and their personnel, you know. OBGYNs worked separately, pediat pediatricians, neonatologists, completely separate. There was no mechanism for them to coordinate at facilities. So there was a system for maternal mortality surveillance, but there was no system for newborn mortality surveillance. After four or five years, of developing a quality improvement system in the Ministry of Health, by which more than 100 of 140 hospitals, health centers that attended deliveries became integrated into the quality improvement system, changes began to happen. I have chosen the year 2009 to illustrate these changes, but they didn't happen all at once. Rather, it was a process a progressive process. And why do I say that the quality improvement activity process in maternal care between 2004 and 2009 was the decisive factor for integration of maternal and newborn care? 
basically because the process of continuous quality improvement that my organization, University Research Corporation, was supporting in the Ministry of Health, was looking and helping providers at facility level to look at the process of delivery and immediate postpartum care. But when these QI teams concentrated on obstetric care, looked at the process, they could not see, they could not uh, forget. They saw very clearly that the process was about the mother and the baby. And it became progressively absurd that the process was only obstetric care. It became a necessity out of just the plain reality that improving obstetric care had to come with improving newborn care. So more and more this pressure built up and in uh, the, ar around the year 2009, maternal and child care programs were unified by the Ministry of Health are, are now managed from one single office in the Ministry of Health. Norms were updated and were issued jointly. Now there is one maternal and newborn norm of the Ministry of Care. A newborn care component was included within the Maternal Quality Improvement Initiative, including training and other activities that are part of a continuous quality improvement program. And then joint QI teams for maternal and newborn care were mandated and implemented in every facility. There isn't one QI team for obstetric care and a separate one for newborn care. There's just one team for both areas. And a, new, uh, a newborn mortality surveillance system was developed and issued. So this picture depicts the, at the delivery care uh, dimension now. The previous slide talked about what was done at the central level of the Ministry of Health. But what about the delivery of care at the facilities. So the ministry decided to put in place this network in each one of the 24 provinces of Ecuador with three different levels. One level at the bottom that you can see that we call community essential obstetric and newborn care, where traditional birth attendants and health centers work integrated basically to address the first delay of the three delays model, to identify pregnant women and newborn in the communities, to identify the, the, the most in risk, and to make sure that they reach and have access to uh, scientific-based care. So the community level is the arms that reach from the formal health system to the communities through uh, community organizations and through traditional birth attendants that have been trained and integrated into the formal health care system. The second level is the basic essential obstetric and newborn care provided by county hospitals. These are numerous county hospitals of about 40 beds each that provide the basic level of essential obstetric newborn care. And of course, the third level is complete or comprehensive EONC, where surgery, obstetric and surgery, immediate newborn care for uh, babies with uh, difficulties is provided. Uh, I'm not going to read all this slide, but the Ministry of Health decided to test this system in one out of the 24 provinces of Ecuador. The name of the province is Cotopaxi, uh, one of the poorest provinces where TBAs provide uh, around 25 to 30% of care for all deliveries in the province. Many changes were introduced and by the end of uh, 2012, or in the, mid in the middle of 2012, the results were uh, seen by the Ministry of Health and the Ecuadorian community. Uh, coverage and quality of postpartum care was improved. You can see the baseline, for example, for total deliveries benefiting from postpartum care in the first 44 hours, from less than 5% to 71%. TBA compliance with counseling standards, TBA compliance for, with postpartum care, newborn exam standards, and so on. So in terms of access, results were improved. But also increase in assisted births was improved or was increased over the years. 
coverage of early postpartum care, as I mentioned before, was also increased with the system. Uh, the quality of care of TBAs, if there's time, I'll tell you how this was measured, was increased. And quality of care at facility-based uh, care was also increased. You have there a sample of quality standards and indicators that are monitored and reported monthly by quality improvement teams that are facility-based. So the key challenges is, was, for this integration, a sense of property of programs at the Ministry of Health. Hospital specialists who prefer to have their own space, not to be shared with others. Deficiencies in training on newborn knowledge and skills for doctors and nurses. Legal and institutional difficulties to merge the work of different institutions and a resistance to effectively integrate traditional birth attendants as a link between the communities and the health systems. Thank you very much.